I'm here to protest government health care. I've got many concerns about this bill. Um, I'm very concerned for the disabled, especially um, for, for senior citizens and for the unborn. To show my uh, anger, disappointment with the uh, Obama administration and the uh, progressive uh, leaning and movement, I'm opposed to it. I think it's taken away our liberties, and uh, it's not what uh, it's not what our troops fought for. They did not fight for socialism. They fought for liberties and freedom. The proposed health bill isn't about health. It's about a government takeover of our freedom. I just don't want the federal government to be involved in my health care. I don't think I want. They're not a competent to run fiscally anything these days, much less my health care, and I don't want And, and what is it government. going to cost? We don't really know. The the, yeah. So many things in the bill seem so large, and things are being pushed through so fast. Sure. Nowadays, why isn't there this transparency that should be there? Uh, rationing, health care. Old people are going to go to the end of the line. I know health care is a problem. I understand that. But the problem is not the doctors, the nurses, the health care workers, or the hospital. The problem is the lawyers, the ones in Congress and the lawyers outside of Congress. They are the problem. First, for health care to be fixed, we need to fix tort reform and get our government completely out of telling the doctors who they can operate on, who they can care for. I was appalled to hear that there's a clause in that says that they're going to encourage seniors to meet with their doctors every five years to discuss, quote, dying with dignity. And obviously, to me, that means dying without treatment. I'm worried about my kids. Um, I'm worried about, you know, what, what socialized medicine is going to look like for my family. And to me, when, you know, if something happens, I guess we'll just have to pray that none of us get sick. From Colorado Springs, I'm a chiropractor there, yes. Huge personal interest uh, in health care and where it's going and uh, what it's going to do for my family, for my children, grandchildren, and uh, as well for my patients. It's not a bill that uh, needs to be modified. It's not something we can compromise on. It's a bill that needs to be eliminated. Health care needs to be reformed, but not this. This is totally the wrong direction for what has to happen. And within five years, you are forced to go to the government plan. There won't be any private plans. Oh, by the way, I'm a Democrat and have been for over 40 years, and I don't trust people, the present administration. After listening to Obama uh, explain that, you know, old folks shouldn't get uh, health care, they ought to just go take a pain pill and die, that was a little more than I'm ready for. Uh, it's none of the government's business. I've read the Constitution, it's not in there. I'm out here because I just adamantly oppose what's happening with our health care system right now. I'm afraid that we're going to be losing our rights as um, individual citizens, our rights over our health care, and our rights over more things. This goes way beyond health care. When the government now controls my body and what I have to do with my body and my husband's body and my children's body, this I no longer this is no longer a free country when that happens. And, and I'm just here because I want to do everything I can to try to absolutely make sure that people are aware that there are people out here that oppose this health care reform.